Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna. Hare Hare. Hare Rama. Hare Rama. Hare Rama. Hare Rama. Rama Rama. Hare Hare. So today we are very happy to be on this auspicious occasion. Of the Jasa Puja celebration of His Holiness Rakti Vidyanath Nishinga Swami Maharaj. Krishna Rakti Vidyanath Nishinga Swami Maharaj. Krishna Rakti Vidyanath Nishinga Swami Maharaj. So our program will begin with Kirtan. He is blessed. Devadhana Prabhu is here with us. We will offer Vaishnava modification by singing a Vaishnava Thakur. And then after that, we will request His Holiness to give Jasapuri address for all the devotees. So at this moment, we are taking opportunity to welcome 
all the devotees who have assembled here to participate in this program. And also we have got devotees attending online from different parts of the world. Dear devotees, big welcome, Hari Bol to you. So now as we said, we will commence this program with Vaishnava Thakur. Now to Deva Dhanam Prabhu. Hare Krishna Prabhu. Hare Krishna Prabhu. Hare Krishna Prabhu. Hare Krishna Prabhu. Hare Simate Bhakti Vedam Tasanami Tinamine Namaste Sarasati Devi Gaurava Jai Sri Krishna Jai Tanna Prabhu Nita
value. And now, when we change three variables to we will back to the address for all the communities. I have a word in online, get ready to hear us. Benai Prabhu, is it sounded okay? Can you confirm with them? Get ready to hear everything. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Mount Vishnu Padaya, Krishna Pristaya Buddhale, Srimati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Iti Namane, Namaste Sarasati Devi, Koravani Pricharini, Nirvisari Shashanyavadi, Pas Chacha Deshitarini, Pancha Kaupata Ruvyascha, Kripa Sindhu Bhayevata, Patita Nam Pavani Vyo, Vaishna Vidyo, Namo Namaha. Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadatha Shri Vasa Vigor Bhaktavanda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So I've had some very good fortune in my life, I, although I have had a lot of misfortune, I had some very good fortune that I was able to contact the Krishna consciousness movement when I was a, still a young man. So that was a, a re really a blessing for me. That I could con that I could come in touch with Krishna consciousness. I've been looking for a spiritual guide, a spiritual teacher, and somehow I had the good fortune to purchase a book of Srila Prabhupada's, and that brought me to visit to the Krishna Conscious Temple, which has been established in London. They've already been established for a few couple of years, but I've never gone there. But after getting the book, and after actually reading some of the book, then I was convinced that I really had to go and visit the Krishna Conscious Center and find out more about the Krishna Consciousness teachings. So I had my own philosophy before going there and it was really enlightening for me to go there and meet the devotees and then in those days the devotees were very young teenagers even and they didn't really have a lot of education but they had a lot of spiritual potency. They were very convinced about Krishna consciousness. They had great faith in what they were doing. And I thought I had some philosophy. I thought I knew about spiritual life. But after I talked to them, I realized I didn't know anything. They, they knew much more than I had ever learned. So I began to go regularly. I took the process up seriously. And this is how Krishna consciousness works. In the Nectar of Devotion, Srila Prabhupada describes how 
Krishna consciousness is within every living entity. In the Chaitanya Charitamrita, Krishna does Kaviraj describes. Nitya Siddha Krishna Prima Sadhya Kabunai Shravanadi Shura Chiti Korehi Udai. The love of Krishna is in the heart of every living entity. And it is, it is awakened by hearing. So the purpose of our Krishna consciousness movement is to give people the opportunity to hear about Krishna. And by hearing, they can awaken the Krishna consciousness. The example is given like the young child at birth, child cannot walk. But gradually, with practice, the child learns to walk. The walking capacity is dormant in the child. It hasn't developed. It takes a little time for the child to grow and to practice. And gradually, the child begins to walk. So in the same way, Krishna consciousness is dormant within the hearts of all living entities and we want to awaken that Krishna consciousness. Last night I was teaching a course on the Bhakti Bhai Bhav to some devotees in the Middle East and we were doing the section on Vrita Sura and there's a very wonderful purport there because the, the verse was actually about Vrita Sura, how uh, the demigods had come to a great sage called the Dichi, and they were requesting the Dichi to give the bones from his body. You know, it's an unusual request, right? Somebody comes to you, would you like, could you give your bones? <laughs> So the Dichi was very rich in austerity and also transcendental knowledge. And he did not refuse the demigods, but he wanted to hear some uh, religious teachings from them. So for, for a little while he was saying, you know, the body is the thing we're most attached to. You want me to give the bones from my body? Yeah. Don't you know death is the most painful thing? The time of death, leaving the body is very painful. You want me to give up my body so you can get my bones? Like this, the Dichi was... Uh, speaking to the demigods and he wanted to hear what the demigods were going to say. The Dichi was already willing to give the body, to give up the body. He was not attached to the material world. He understood the nature of the material world, that there's no real pleasure, no real happiness in it. So he was ready to, give, to sacrifice his life so that the demigods could get and his bones. But he wanted to hear some philosophy from them. So the demigods replied to the Dichi that, you know, it's difficult sometimes to beg. When you go begging, maybe when you took initiation, did you go and do begging? Did you go and beg donations from people? It's not very easy. We, 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 we haven't done that too often. It's not common practice. But sometimes, you know, we do that. When... So some devotees, you ask them to go and sing time and distribute books, and they feel very shy. They don't like to approach people, and they don't, especially, they don't like to ask them to give money. <laughs> And so the demigod said, it's very difficult. You know, you should understand it's difficult sometimes to beg. 
And they also said, you know, it's also difficult for people to give sometimes. Because not everybody has wealth that they can give to others. Some people are poor and they don't have enough for themselves even. So how can they give charity to others? So the demigod said it's difficult sometimes to ask and it's difficult also to give. This was how the demigods replied. So the Dichita, very nice. <laughs> he said, all right, I'll give you my body. Anyway, there's a purport in the section where Prabhupada talks about how, just as the demigods were in a very difficult position, life-threatening condition, because this demon, Vritasura, had been created, and he was fighting on the side of the demons against the demigods. So he said, in the same way, at the present time, Prabhupada's talking, 1970s, he said, at the present time, the world is also in a very precarious situation, very dangerous situation. And he said, we need young people to sacrifice their life and join this Krishna consciousness movement. He said, we need people of knowledge people who are educated and cultured to take up this Krishna consciousness movement and to spread God consciousness around the world. He said, it's the only hope to save the suffering humanity. People are suffering. One devotee wrote to me recently from Malaysia She's working as a doctor, and she told me how her hospital had been made into a COVID hospital. And she was telling me how so many people are dying there. People are suffering, not only because of COVID. In Prabhupada's time also, they were suffering. The same miseries are there. It hasn't changed. It there's always old age and disease and death for everyone. Or sometimes the disease and death may come before you're old. Young people also die. There's no guarantee that we will live forever or live to old age. But Prabhupada was taking advantage of this situation in the Srimad Bhagavatam to describe the mood in which people should take up this Krishna consciousness movement, that they should want to dedicate their life for the service of Krishna consciousness. They should want to do this out of compassion for people who are suffering in this material world. We should feel genuine concern for the welfare of people all over the world. In fact, not only people, all living entities. A devotee is kind to all creatures. The trees, the plants, the insects, but especially our preaching it's meant for the people. We want to enlighten the people about Krishna consciousness. So that compassion has to be there. Prabhupada gives examples. He said, just like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, at the age of 24, he left his young wife, who was only 16, and his elderly mother, who was a widow. He left them alone to take sannyas for the higher cause. The cause was to deliver the world, the, the teaching of Krishna consciousness, to establish the Krishna conscious mission. And then we have also the example of Lord Chaitanya's principal followers, like the six Goswamis. The six Goswamis, Rupa Sanatan, Raghunath, 
who is appearing stage today, Raghunath Bhattam, Gopal Bhattam, Jiva Goswami. They all came from good families, well ed educated, cultured families. Raghunath was very wealthy. Rupa and Sanatan also had incredible wealth. They gave it all up to join Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mission to go and live in Vrindavan as mendicants, to establish the holy place, to rediscover the holy places of Krishna's pastimes, and to establish temples for the benefit of the future devotees. Just like this temple, which is coming up now here in Mayapur, we don't know when it will open. It may take some more years. But for the future, for the future mankind, for the future devotees, that they will come and benefit. They'll see the big temple which has been established by the Krishna consciousness movement. Just like in Vrindavan, Rupa Goswami is said to have built Govinda Ji temple, but many others also helped. He got help from others like Raghunath Bhatta Goswami helped. He also arranged substantial financial support for the construction of the temple. So it's Krishna consciousness is teamwork. We all work together to try to establish the Krishna consciousness movement. At the same time, there's transcendental competition. Prabhupada encouraged that. Just like every year we have, they would have Christmas marathon, trying to distribute more books. We were hearing this Indra Jumna Swami was saying the other day on a, a, on a call uh, to China devotees, he was telling how in America this year, over a six week period, they distributed two million copies of the Bhagavad Gita. And a, and a very noteworthy achievement, two million copies. Of course, it's nothing compared to what Christians will distribute when it comes to the Bible. But still, Bhagavad Gita is very good. It's a very big achievement. More people are getting the books. Of course, we want to see not only Bhagavad Gita, we like to see Srimad Bhagavatams everywhere. That every home has a set of Srimad Bhagavatam. Prabhupada had his vision for the future of the Krishna consciousness movement. That the judges in the high court would all have tilak. They'd all be devoted. And in the parliament, all the members of parliament should be twice initiated brahmanas, following the four principles. Prabhupada a wonderful vision for the future. We are still developing. We're, this is the beginning of the Krishna consciousness. Sometimes people say, oh, where are your temples? Where is this? Where is that? And we have to say, well, we're, we're a very new society, right? We just celebrated 50 years a few years ago. We thought that's a big achievement, 50 years. <laughs> 50 years is, is just the beginning. Buddhism has been around 2,500 years. Christianity is 2,000 years. Islam is less, less than that. These religions, they're all more than 1,000 years old. Krishna consciousness, 
it's it's new, but at the same time, it's not new. When I was giving class to Russia the other day, somebody asked me that because I mentioned that this teaching has a history of thousands of years. So he was surprised. He said, I thought this, this was a new movement. I thought this was a new society. Yes, ISKCON is new, but Krishna consciousness is not new. ISKCON is the new society, new name. Like Prabhupada wrote one beautiful poem glorifying his spiritual master for his Vyasa Puja. He said, oldest of all, but in new, new dress, miracle done, your divine grace. The oldest of all, Krishna consciousness, but in a new dress. This is Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati established Gaudiya and then afterwards, Srila Prabhupada comes along and establishes ISKCON. It's the new dress for the oldest thing, Krishna consciousness. It's, it's not new, it's very old. It goes back to the beginning of time, to the birth of Lord Brahma, to the beginning of the birth of Brahma from the lotus flower. He gets the holy name, he gets Krishna consciousness. Lord Brahma is our Adi Guru and our Sampradaya. So he was he was a devotee from the beginning. He got Krishna consciousness. So Krishna consciousness is not a new thing. It's eternally there in the spiritual world. Goloka. Vaikuntha, they're all pure devotees. They're all Krishna conscious. They're Nitya Siddhas, eternally liberated souls. So this Krishna consciousness movement is another opportunity for all of us rebellious souls that we can be awakened to Krishna consciousness, that we can reestablish ourselves and the Krishna conscious platform. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu would say, Jivar Svarupahaya Nitya Krishna Das. The, the living entity's constitutional position is to be the servant of Krishna. So we have that Krishna consciousness, we just have to develop it. We want to take up the process faithfully, seriously, an endeavor to get out from this material world. There will always be turmoil here in this world. This is the place. This planet is called Mrityu Loka, the planet of death. Prabhupada would say death is sure. So we want to we don't want to lament about these things. Die His Holiness Subhak Swami Maharaj Ki. We don't want to be bewildered. We don't want to be lamenting about the body, getting old, getting diseased, and dying. We want to take full advantage to develop our God consciousness, to go back home, back to God. Would you like this big marriage? <laughs> we'll, we'll be happy to hear from you. And many people are in China listening also. So you're going to visit many countries from here. This is a nice way to travel.
We sit here in one place and be everywhere. Actually, yeah, just, with, just like being the super soul, you know. Nice to meet you. Thai, Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore, Hong Kong, China, Taiwan. No, I, I don't go to Thailand. Thailand? Thailand. I just came to this. I've been explaining the urgency of Krishna consciousness mm -hmm. and how Prabhupada wrote in the purport in the sixth canto in relation to the Dichi money, mm -hmm. Prabhupada was imploring people, educated people, to sacrifice their life for the service of the Krishna consciousness movement. Just like the Dichi sacrificed his body for the demigods to get his bones, he said, you people, you young people, educated people, you should sacrifice your life for this Krishna consciousness movement. Because the world, people are suffering all over the world and they need to be delivered. And only Krishna consciousness is a solution to the problems of the world. There's no other solution but Krishna consciousness. What everything else they may try, you know, their thing, the inoculation, injection, it's not going to save us from old age, disease, and death. Only Krishna consciousness can get us out from this condition in the material world. So there's a need, an urgent need for people to sacrifice, to give their life to distribute this Krishna consciousness movement. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, Yari Deki Tari Kaho Krishna Padesh, Amara Gai Guru Hana Tare Desh. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has ordered everyone, wherever you go, whoever you meet, tell them about Krishna. In this way, become a spiritual teacher. All of you, you all have to become spiritual teachers. I thought Krishna Prabhu was telling me he, they're planning to begin a, a new course. Just like we have a disciple course, they're going to have a guru course. <laughs> <laughs> to train people to accept the responsibility of being spiritual master. Jaipataka Swami Maharaj has some ideas about things which people need to learn before they take up the guruship to prepare, to prepare them for that responsibility. But everyone should do it. There's no reason why. But nobody says, oh, you have to be a sannyasi to be guru. No. Nobody said you have to be Brahman, or you have to, probably oh, should be Brahman. <laughs> it should be twice an issue. Nobody said you, you have to be full time devotee. You may not be full time devotee, but you should be full time dedicated. Although you're not living in the temple, you should be committed, fully committed to the Krishna consciousness movement. So Krishna consciousness is expanding, but somehow ashram is diminishing. Both should expand. As the, as, as the congregation expands, ashram should also expand. Young men should come and be trained if they get good training in brahmachari life, then they can also go on and become householder. There's no bar that because you're trained as brahmachari, you cannot marry. Actually, the good brahmacharis will make good householder devotees. 
It's a good training, it's a good preparation for future ashrams. Many of the young boys there in the Gurukula, Bhaktivedya Purna Maharaj's traditional Gurukula, they, some, some will become sannyasis and some will marry and become householders. But they will be very good devotees because they're very well trained. They have a very good introduction to spiritual life. So that training is very important. We come here to Mayapur to get training, to get education. We, we see so many nice devotees, they come here, they learn play Madanga very nicely, they learn Kirtan very nicely. We have wonderful music people like Deva Dharma here, Prabhu teaching, just hearing him sing and chant. Then it's very inspiring for other devotees to learn. So many senior devotees, also Janani Bas Prabhu, Pankajangri, they're, how they're fully engaged in the deity worship and doing service. So it's not that in old age we don't do anything. So, so we'll ask Subhak Swami Maharaj to please give some words of guidance and enlightenment for all of you. Subhak Maharaj is also my Shiksha Guru. When I joined the Krishna Consciousness Movement, he was there. He was in the temple. When I, when I first went to the temple, he was already a full-time devotee. So I was impressed when I saw him. Because I thought he was the only Indian there. I thought, wow, even, <laughs> even the Indians are joining this. <laughs> because everybody else was, you know, white. <laughs> we were all English, British people. But Subhak Swami, I thought, oh, he's even the Indians are joining here. <laughs> So today is a very auspicious occasion and we feel fortunate to be here joining this program and the devotee who is now so, uh, so that we can endeavor to in our journey back to our original home, original life, is the consciousness. For that, here, from real life soul, those who are experiencing this life, your sitting exam. If I look back, I'm getting old. Now I'm eighty years old. My memory is really not so much in there, but as I reflect, I saw Maharaj there. There are many devotees. There, in the East, I say, some American, few from here and there. 
So there are many devotees, one of them stands out in the Vidya. He will not come out very efficient in something playing with all the stuff. I saw Mark, I used to go on Sankita and Bhupanadi, I must have been careful to ask me to translate this. But they asked me to do something in the UK. But I like maybe chanting in these things. And some new Yogyakarta, can you try to distribute book? I must say I'm not that big pushy. But you should be. And Jane in the temple, how to do that? And uh, as I understand and remember, Mohammed was one of them in the future. I think he was right. He tried very good. I also like very much the picture. I saw him pass like that. He's a good thing. And summer stands out. I think I saw more of my my childhood little bit different from others in the sense that just like I'm like a long and I remember he and his sister, he had a sister. So we are here. So we are here. So we are here. Later, after a long time, I didn't see him because I left uh, England. He asked me to go somewhere. I must say, I'm not too sure. In that sense, I see he's taking care of it. Seeing somebody's capacity is different in different fields, if Uber wanted to use it, drop training, it is the process to so, uh, make progress in spiritual life at the same time. It's the process. Our movement, the movement of creatures, which I mean, she has to set up example and then they give character means. We just for materialistic way of life means laws and services In that way, I very much agree with Especially worrying in Germany. The body can learn from others. We understand as long as you be. You should always learn. Here is many devotees. You can learn from them. You can learn most from those who are here. Who are pure. Who are dedicated. And this way, our our society is like a garland. Flowers taking from different plants. Some are very beautiful. Some are very fragrant. And one can make a garland and a book. Unity is diversity. We can learn so much. Here is the opportunity in California. Rupa says, All my disciples can become guru and those are others coming up. Because we require many teachers. So, best to hear. Hearing and chanting, so those who are long time in the movement, they must have some beauty. Beauty is the core. I see Maharaj is very serious. This is very important, especially in our society. To set up example, one thing is naturally to expand the society in the and foreign environment. Richard, character is good. 
They expand at the same time maintaining purity, standard quality, very beautiful. But one can do one group of devotees, beauty, standard quality. And other those cannot, they can expand. Some can do both in between. Then they are saying, Krishna wants me. Um, uh, everything due to proper adjustment for harmony. You divide things there, so it can make into variety, unity in variety. Make one thing to divide things. These are philosophy. The harmonies. You know, harmony divide sound. No, no. You put together into one thing, sound, sound. Harmonious. So, Vaishnav are called harmonists. You should know. And they think of proper adjustment. A doctrine, everything at Krishna. Otherwise, it is zero plus zero plus zero. Plus zero. Moment at Krishna, for the pleasure of Krishna, for the pleasure of Krishna's beauty, then you become a man, a man, a girl, a girl, a Krishna's pleasure. Here they are already in the spiritual world. Since the consciousness, we have to be Krishna. Then you can hear. So, dying here in association with the good devotee, by chanting, dancing, teaching, telling us that those are all in the community, some of them are loving, bring them to the goodness. So there is a difference between Krishna and Devi is one of the Hanuman, GBC, Levi, CBC, Ramanatha, Richard, the most important leader of the Gita. So they can also come forward. So they say, my guards are more good than the world. They sometimes collect in so much money, don't keep a penny in their pocket. This is their sanas. Not at all. Money, power, and so on. So we have got a great responsibility today to Jyotir Mahapu one day, every town and village will be chanting. This is from Sakta Sankal. When God says something to the people, that will happen definitely. But one is intelligent. He say, Shume Rasa. On his Sumeda, good brain, real intelligence, not material. With your intelligence, you should take this opportunity and make his life survive. And inspire others. One should not be keep on. I am all the many people I know. How to deliver to someone that children want to associate? That is the one. And he said, My dear Lord, people are suffering through the whole universe. Why would you deliver them? Why would you Go there in the jail, suffering in this material existence. But they don't know they are suffering, many of them. He is delivered. I will, this is Krishna, I will accept on behalf of the Indian, you deliver them, I will accept all their. Simple result of the simple this year. So, devotee is taking this world to teach him. So, this God is a ghost on the guru. That means, all together, try to deliver as many people as possible. Till they don't want to desire to do it. So, we have to take risk of life. Devotee sometimes suffered so much. During before Russia, we opened the door. And who we were just so one seat on the shape, some or other, may go You can see later on from that. Just like a variance, you one seat. And from seat, huge variance you come. You can have the new marble. And each group has gone again so many seats. So like that, each of you can be a guru in that same. Only teacher, teacher, be guru. But at the same time, you have to set up example of the idea. 
He said, we can, as Guru Bhatt, so Acharya means one himself acts. Here Maharaj will see for so many years, within this time, the institution, so many things happen. I don't want to say dark side, but I say that, bright side. Here is one example, Maharaj. There, you must be told us that somebody is long time in the movement, yeah, but something. Otherwise, Maya will keep him up. Without becoming qualified, one cannot come. It means from Kovitram Param. To be the pure. So we have to do it. I say with Krishna and with Krishna, we have to do it. So here is the Maharaj. Of course, I told already, as long as I live, I will be fortunate to be here to share and ask you what I learned from Pupa, tell something as I remember I come from Montenegro. So I heard that there's something I, you know, Pupa spoke about the Chinese people. Pupa said, from China, when the people will come, they are very strong and strong. So we expect so much from and when everybody is saying they will be it will happen from China or those who are from that country coming already become leader and teach Krishna consciousness and get the mercy of the Supreme Person to go away to leaders like Maharaj. And deliver others. Under his guidance. Hare Krishna. So we thank this opportunity to thank you for your nice. Hare Krishna. So the other devotees, we are running a little late. Normally, we hope everybody will cooperate with us so that we can be on time. So we are taking this opportunity to thank you, Guru Nasrupai Maharaj, for enlightening us the importance of becoming a true follower of Krishna consciousness moment. So Maharaj is, you know, it is big year, big year moment for a long time. That's the proof that Krishna has chosen you to be here to play as an instrument in Krishna's hand. We have so many nice devotees here. Of course, we will be there to bless us today. So now we'll move on to the next part of our program. So we will invite the two devotees from entire Chinese Yatra to offer their comments for His Holiness at this point in time. So now I would like to invite uh, His Grace Gadadhar Prabhu. And Gadadhar Prabhu can come forward to this place and we can give you homage. So here is Gadadhar Prabhu, Hare Krishna. I have passed from Subodhi Roy, the Dhani, to prepare some prayers for you, dear Guru Maharaj. And yesterday I was in a train from the town to Michael, and I got the first note. <laughs> so, I would like to, to read English So, translation is that, Guru Maharaj, please, please accept my humble blessings. I put my hands together and thank you for your shelter and blessings. 
Bonnie, I become your servant. I will have the future and hope. Bonjour, brother. You will never give up preaching and not to Therefore, you have become my role model. Please accept my respect again. You never deviate from true group, but the spirit of man confidence in him. I hope and pray that without any mental speculation, you are sharing with us in a simple way. I feel very lightly to listen to your lecture and suffering. Oh, great souls, I'm very grateful to you. With the touch of knowledge, you eliminate the darkness. May your glory will be spread everywhere, all the world. Again and again, I'm offering to you my witnesses. You sacrifice your life, soul, and everything that you have. I cannot expre express how grateful to you. I beg you for forgiveness of my numerous mistakes. I have no any qualifications to serve the other family that. Okay. 
Hare Krishna. So, so far we have uh, heard from two devotees from Mayapur, living currently, but originally from China. As you know, Maharaj's uh, heart is with Chinese devotees. I love them so much. I don't have to express because I have some experience. I have heard, I have seen personally how Maharaj is very much kind to you all. Of course, you all know. So, uh, you know, our Krishna consciousness movement is full of varieties, right? Yeah. When you are running prasadam, you need how many items? <laughs> it's four or five items, right? Then you can enjoy. So similarly, any program, it has to be filled with different varieties. So now we are going to move our attention to the screen. Let's hear, let's watch a drama. Directed by her best Jamuna Priya Mataji from China. So the Chinese devotees have prepared one drama for us. Let's watch this drama and after that we'll go on to the next program of hearing from different congregation members from around the world. Uh, and at the time I will give the control to his best uh, Padmanuthan group from Singapore. So now let's go to the screen to move the to see the drama. Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yamuna Priya Devi Dasi, are you ready? Quite in, quite in. Ma 
指了理想的一天，写的更为理想。朱尼泰万达是地球的进化者，他的形象是以仆人的身份来教导我们怎样服务神，给我们做榜样，所以也是仆人的神。他是人慈的化身，从一开始，小刚达被小伙伴亲切的称为“英派”。就这样，尼提亚·兰达·塔布在埃克查库尔展示了十二年的逍遥时光。然而，进入十三岁时，有一位托博生是。就这样。米提亚·兰达·帕布在埃克查库尔展示了十二年的逍遥时光。然而，进入十三岁时，有一位托博生是著名的桑利亚西，是师徒传承中的第十九位，名叫拉克什尼·帕提·提尔塔，在旅行中来到了米提亚·兰达的家。得到了他在潘迪特一家人热情的款待。居士一般都忙于自己发展和感官享乐，没有时间从事灵性的活动。我通过旅行去拜访他们，以便给他们从事灵性研究和创造物。
后我们想，我们太容易变法了。亲爱的妈哈拉家，呃，我们先给这你们补上可以吗？所有好的都给妈妈带去，把那个红油给啊，你看，你看的那个好东西都给拿出来。先收口吧，先收口吧。你们这个话剧还要多久啊？圣地说时间太长了。因为后面还有其他国家先导文，你们还要几分钟？可能他会终止这个了。嗯We will stop the drama in two minutes, right? We will stop the drama in two minutes. Okay, okay.
Hare Krishna, a round of applause for our devotees from China for the beautiful drama. Right. So now we will move on to um, the offerings by the senior leaders from the congregation. Right. So we will start with um, His Grace Simeswara Prabhu from, from Kuala Lumpur. Um, he has a very urgent meeting and therefore he has actually moved on for the meeting. So I will request Sudarshan Prabhu to to present the offerings on his behalf. Sudarshan Prabhu, over to you, please. Maharaj, standard pronouns to you. Uh, so I'm reading the offering on behalf of His Grace Simeshwara Prabhu. So this is what he wrote. Hare Krishna, uh, what can I say for 2.5 minutes? His Holiness Bhakti Vigna Vinash and Arshima Maharaj is very fiery in making sure we are strict in Krishna consciousness. He is very sweet in making sure we remain Krishna conscious. He is very kind and helping anyone in their difficulties. He is very free to meet and serve anyone. He is very strict himself and tries to make others strict as well, but is always forgiving if we are not strict ourselves. He shows by example and when in Thailand is out on book distribution and inspires others to do the same. He always comes to Malaysia and gives his association and takes full advantage of the open doors for preaching and never says no to any request. I have never heard him say no when requested to preach at any center, house, or open programs. He lives by preaching and he loves speaking about Krishna. We in Malaysia thank Maharaj a lot, a lot for giving us the association. He took a difficult country to manage and preach, Thailand, where many failed. But he has got the special mercy of Srila Prabhupada and Gauranga and he succeeded to take over where things were left off and not that great, but built the Yatra and continues to build it nicely now. 
that there are many Thai nationals also became devotees apart from the hundreds, thousands of Nepalese, Burmese and Indians. Prabhupada went west to preach against Mayavada and Sunyavada and he also came to Thailand but only managed to be in the airport. He took a shower and continued his journey, maybe much more. His Holiness Swami Bhakti Vigna Vinash Narasimha Maharaj is in Thailand where there are about 350,000 monks and 64 million Buddhists, Sunyavadis. Actually speaking, he is the only monk, Krishna conscious monk, Prabhupada's mercy on him to preach in a Sunyavada zone. I always hanker to take his association. Thank you, Hare Krishna. So just to let you know, Guru Maharaj, Simeshwara Prabhu was there uh, uh, earlier itself because we slotted his time earlier. So, uh, but he really had to leave. So begging his apologies on his behalf. Thank you very much, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Prabhu, you're muted. Hare Krishna. Uh, can we have Mathura Nath Das, please, from Russia? Mathura Nath Prabhuji, can you please unmute yourself? Kastori Mataji, is he uh, one of the participants right now? Yeah, he is, he is. Okay, then let's move on to Sri Vallabha Prabhu, Yatra leader from Damodar Desh. Vallabha Prabhu ji, can you please unmute yourself and turn on your camera? Okay, we'll move on to Radha. Bhava Prabhu, Yatra leader Shyamadesh. Hare Krishna, please accept my obligations at your lotus feet and all goes to the Divine Minister Prabhupada and to all his disciples. Uh, we are very fortunate to have your divine presence to the Zoom and I am taking the blessings of you for all of us at Shyamadesh. Uh, his holiness has been a great motivator for all the devotees world across. I personally had been fortunate to have his mercy way back in 1979 when his holiness was in Jew and uh, we always remember his great uh, mood of chanting in those days was so intense that he would sometimes sit in Prabhupada's quarters or at the corner of our uh, Narasimha Dev's uh, uh, Vigraha photo and he would be chanting so intensely that you know we would never even disturb him but we would love to hear him. He was also very uh, close to his holiness Tamal Krishna Goswami Maharaj in those days and uh, he, he used to always uh, be distributing books or doing some seva. I, I never seen his holiness uh, uh, relaxing for any times or even sitting down for a second. He is always uh, on the move, very, very uh, uh, cordial and very polite to even uh, uh, the most uh, junior devotee. Uh, in fact, uh, I remember when he came to my house here also, uh, one very new devotee uh, did Pranam to Maharaj and uh, of course we always expect Maharaj to just bless, but he himself did Pranam and that devotee was in tears. He said, why are you doing this Maharaj? And, you know, so uh, we have a personality here who is uh, so imbibed with Srila Prabhupada's uh, um, uh, humbleness and uh, he is in, uh, and his holiness has done such wonderful work I mean, in such places like China and Thailand where the resistance is so much to change people with so much ground reality is so different from the other part of the world. So it's his purity and his determination to serve his divine grace Srila Prabhupada that has really scored and uh, we really look upon his holiness and we pray that he remains in the best of health and uh, serve uh, Srila Prabhupada in more and more glorious ways. So thank you Maharaj for being such a wonderful person and uh, support for all of us in ISKCON worldwide. We always look upon you and uh, you are really uh, somebody who we feel that uh, we should always adore and follow. Thank you very much, Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Mathura Nath Prabhuji, can you please? Uh, yeah, you're already muted. You're already unmuted. Please carry on.
Mathura Nath Prabhuji, we can't hear you. No, it's not working. So uh, I, I suggest we move on to Palaka Krishna Das Adhikari Prabhu, uh, Malaysia President for the Northern Region. And we will come back to you very, very shortly, Mathuranath Prabhuji. Kasturi Mataji, can you please unmute Palaka Krishna Das Prabhuji? Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yes, Maharaj to come to the uh, Malaysia again and don't forget to come to the Alastar. We are eagerly waiting for you and with your association. I think we were first we, we meet in a Potan Garden, maybe 90s, 97, 98, something for uh, I invited your Radhyatra. That's the first time I met you in a Penang Center. That time you are not very well. You're still willing to come join you in the Radhyatra. Uh, from that, we are uh, always you eager to come to always when you come to Alastar. In Malaysia, you always come to Alastar. Uh, yeah, that's your kindness and very happy. And also, I got the chances to glorify by this uh, Vyasa Puja. Uh, maybe Maharaj, you remember me and my family. You're very close to two of Alastars and my family. We take care also my family members and all staff members. Your kindness, your humbleness, you are, you are carrying the devotees. We are very appreciated. We are happy. You are also one of the six guru. So I very happy, my Maharaj. Don't forget me and my family and our Congress member. Thank you, Arigashan Maharaj. We are previous upon your day. Thank you, Vyasa Maharaj. Thank you very much, Palaka Krishna Prabhuji. Um, can we have Sri Vallab Prabhu once again? Uh, we tried calling you uh, moments ago. Can you unmute yourself and turn on your camera, please? Maharaj, Sri Vallab here from Damodadesh. We have been very, very fortunate to have your association so many years. And not only your personal presence, also, your association in terms of so many other visits, and even now during the lockdown period, uh, visiting us and giving us lecture as early as last week. And I thank you. You've not only guided your disciples, you've been a Siksha Guru for most of us here in Dhammadadesh. We are always inspired and touched by your mercy, your humility, your very simple way of life. And that has attracted us in serving Shil Prabhupada's mission more. We look forward and we pray to Sri Sri Radha Madha for a very long longevity of your life as well as serving Srila Prabhupada's moment and for us to be blessed to be able to offer service to you, uh, dear Maharaj, and to all the devotees guided by you. Thank you very much, Maharaj. Hare Krishna, Mathura Nath Prabhuji. Would you Hare like to Krishna. try? Yes, it's working now. Oh, Please Lord. proceed. Hare Krishna, all glories to Srila Prabhupada. Your Holiness, dear Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. 
Let me thank you for your example of sincere, consistent and diligent service of uh, in mission of your spiritual master, founder, Acharya and Shiksha Guru for the entire society for Krishna consciousness. His divine grace, Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Your example inspired me by its purity, simplicity and steadiness. And I want to continue following to your footsteps. Let me thank you for your disciples who are reflect your qualities. They are very sincerely and consistently trying to serve other Vaishnavas, even if it needs many efforts. Looking to your disciples, I become also sincere and consistent. Let me also thank you for your special attention to our city and region. More than 10 years you give lectures, seminars to us, engage us in singing kirtans and bhajans and dancing in front of the deities. Certainly it helps us to make advance on the path of devotional service. We, we learn Vaishnava qualities in Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam and Shikshastaka. It should be developed in order to the to be able to earn the mercy of Krishna and the Vaishnavas. So we try to do this in terms of our experience and our ideas about these qualities. We try to cultivate humility, patience, reverence as much as we can. And when we get opportunity to see and feel the manifestation of these qualities in uh, association, it becomes true education. Thank you for this opportunity. Let me wish you good health and the more diligent, patient and sincere disciples. Let they will accept transcendental knowledge with which you transmit and will spread it throughout the world. Thank you very much and accept my and humble obeisance to your lot of your, your servant. Your Thank you very much, Matrana Das. Um, Adri Dharana Prabhuji, over to you. Dear Guru Maharaj, on behalf of the disciples of Russia, I sincerely thank you for your mercy, nectar of spiritual knowledge, and care for each of us. Thank you for your personal attention to each and every devotee. Your quality is Karunika. In Russia, 18 years, you have been continued the work started by Srila Prabhupada. In your preaching, you show how to apply Krishna consciousness and find positive spiritual alternative to a meaningless life. On public programs in Russia, you always leave a positive impression of yourself and spiritual message. It's changed people's heart. Thank you for your example of good relation and respect to mundane people whom you preach. You're a real gentleman. Thank you for your strictness towards yourself and for your indulgence toward others. In any situations, you firmly and uncompromisingly take Srila Prabhupada's instruction as a basis. At the same time, you accept the disciples' imperfections and give them strength and time to correct our mistakes. Your quality is Titikshu. But you always remind us that we saved by our founder Acharya, his divine grace, Shila Prabhupada. And you always teach us that our highest debt is to help spiritual master in his service to Shila Prabhupada's preaching field. Thus, our life will be sublime. Your spiritual qualities and example of faithfulness to Shila Prabhupada firms our determination to follow his instructions and in his footsteps. We offer our bodies and mind to you, Guru Maharaj, and this is our most fortune. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much, uh, Adri Dharana Prabhuji, for a wonderful, heart touching message. I would now request Archana Devi Dasi um, to present her offering on behalf of the Thai and Myanmar congregation. Archana Devi Dasi Mataji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you for this opportunity, Prozit. Hare Krishna, good day. Please accept my humble obeisances. 
to your lotus finger mash. I like to offer some flowers here. <laughs> Algorithms to you, Sarah Prabhupada, algorithms to you on this auspicious day of your Vyas Puja. First of all, I would like to thank you for accepting this insignificant soul under the shelter of your lotus feet. I got initiation in 2010 when I was 15 years old. I was very young at that time. I was immature, but I was quite sincere. When the time uh, go by, then I have grown up and by the country that I stay, I have uh, also tried to enjoy this pilgrimage by forgotten the main object of bhakti. Oh, my eternal spiritual master, by seeing your devotion to Vasila Prabhupada and Krishna, this has really inspired me. Every time I have your association, it gives me strength to do good in my spiritual life. By seeing you, do the desire to enjoy this world disappear. Dear Gurudev, I feel forever in debt to your costless mercy. Now, every week, I will be waiting for Wednesday to come so that we will get to hear the nectar of Krishna Leela from you through Zoom. I want to be serious in your service, Gurudev. I beg for your mercy that I can have taste in chanting the holy name and to serve the Vaishnava with a humble mood. For me, you are the manifestation representation of the Godhead. I would like to ask for your forgiveness for the offenses that I, I have committed in the part of devotional service. I pray to Lord Narsingha Dev every day for your protection and for your good health. I have made some cake for you, Guru Maharaj. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you, Guru Dev. And I have few devotees with me here. We really miss you, Guru Dev. And we try to organize some more program next year. Thank you very much, Archana Mataji. Thank you very much. Uh, Jay Narayan Prabhuji, can you please unmute yourself and be on camera too for your offering? Hare Krishna Maharaj, kindly accept my humble obeisances and your lotus feet, Maharaj, on this auspicious uh, Vyas Puja celebrations. Uh, so it is great fortune and I really thank devotees for uh, giving me this opportunity to glorify you, although I have no qualification to do that. Um, so Maharaj, uh, so we, we hear uh, one time Srila Prabhupada was asked to tell about uh, His Holiness Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Maharaj and Prabhupada said that, uh, what can I say about him? He is a Vakuntha man. And uh, Maharaj, so many devotees in this moment, they all feel that uh, your wonderful qualities are actually that of a Vakuntha man. And what can we glorify about your wonderful qualities? You, you have those wonderful qualities which, can, which has attracted people from all across the world to take shelter of Srila Prabhupada. Maharaj, your attraction to Srila Prabhupada is so strong that we, in every lecture of yours, you will give some very beautiful examples of Srila Prabhupada and which makes feel, uh, make us feel connected to Srila Prabhupada. And when we ask about your, your interaction with Srila Prabhupada, you always take a uh, very humble position and you always say that I don't, did not have much interaction with Srila Prabhupada, but you're always a uh, uh, Srila Prabhupada man and you are always encouraging devotees to strengthen their relationship with Srila Prabhupada. And Maharaj, so this is really so inspiring for all of us. And Maharaj, you have so much attach attachment to the holy names. We see you chanting the holy name, every word discreetly, every word so clearly. And your chanting, uh, just by seeing you chant so attentively, it gives also us some inspiration to chant nicely. And Maharaj, you are a perfect example of Trinadapi Sunichena. This is a dream of so many devotees to become humble, but that is a 
extraordinary and overwhelming quality of yours, which is touching the heart of every devotee. You are respecting everyone. You are respecting your God brothers. You are even respecting your devotees, your disciples, even your servants. We have seen you so many times, Maharaj. Even you are offering them obeisances. You are offering obeisances to your disciples and servants. And this is really, uh, this is really sometimes puts the devotees into difficulty. And when it comes to God brothers, you are always giving them a superior position. You treat them as your spiritual masters. You always uh, let them speak first. Just like we also saw just now, Subhag Maharaj came and you welcomed him. And then you said, Maharaj, you would like to speak. So this is so natural in you that you always want to, you know, respect everyone. And Maharaj, uh, you always talk, uh, whatever you talk, you actually walk that. Um, you have absolutely no attachment to any facilities. Um, I can just share one example quickly with devotees. One time after Mayapur Yatra, Navdeep Parikarma, you were packing up your luggage and uh, you told me just to keep two, or th two sets of dhoti kurta. And uh, I was selecting, I, I took the best of the two and tried to keep them in your bag. But when you looked at it, that I have kept the best one, you immediately told me to uh, take them out. You took those best clothes and distributed to other sannyasis and you kept something very simple for yourself, Maharaj. So, so that was so heart touching that, uh, and in fact, once I heard that a disciple of yours, he, he brought a sleepers for himself and which was, was not fitting well for him. And I, I heard that Maharaj, you, 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 you chose to use those sleepers which disciple brought for himself because he was not using it. So as a pure devotee spiritual master, your position is as a confidential servant of Krishna is so special and it is at absolute level, but you are coming down to encourage us and whatever condition of life we may come in, you accept us so lovingly. So we can't uh, count of our good fortune. And I think this is the most special gift that the Lord has given us in our life. That is your association. So thank you so much Maharaj for accepting us despite all uh, my mistakes. And, yes, and thank you Maharaj. Thank you, Maharaj. Thank you very much, Jay Narayan Prabhu, on behalf of the Indian Yatra. Um, I'll now request Yogita Radha Mataji to speak on behalf of the Hong Kong and Taiwan devotees, please. Thank you very much. Thank you, Prabhu. My humble obeisances, Gurudev, please accept some humble obeisances. All Gurus to Srila Prabhupada, you Gurudeva, and Goranga Chai. Gurudev, the efforts that you have put into preaching into Taiwan and Hong Kong, it's just no words. You went ahead first to learn our language, that's Mandarin, mother tongue for Taiwan and uh, for Hong Kong. You also, you, you learn to preach to them. Imagine they don't speak the language English, but book distribution is so important that you really truly want to just fulfill Srila Prabhupada's wishes and make him happy. And you went out alone in Taiwan. Even if you have to do book distribution, you walk out alone, Gurudev. No congregation, nothing had been met, made as yet. You walked out alone on the roads doing book distribution. It's just really, you showed literally how important it is. And then um, in Taiwan, you also go ahead and give lectures, classes at the yoga centers, and you keep good association with the B Buddhist groups as well, where uh, devotees have been performing Sankirtanas, just as they did last week. All thanks to you, Gurudev. They're actually blending out into different groups and delivering the Lord's name between everybody. Govinda, really your mercy, Gurudev. Even in Hong Kong, whenever you're here, Gurudev, every morning you give the Srimad Bhagavatam classes. And in fact, you told us how important it is to read Srimad Bhagavatam. Even if nobody's there, Sh Shigarnitaya are there. Srila Prabhupada is sitting right there. You have to read to them. They will be so happy to hear the glories of the Lord. Govinda, you really... And then also for Gurudev, when you, you, you always go for Harinam and you have always stressed on how important association is and you've shown it to us. Gurudev, you are certainly a very exemplary person. You are someone who walks the talk of your life. That is what you do, Gurudev. Everything you have taught us, everything you have said, 
you actually walk that part in the life and you show it to us really good totally my pronouns thank you good thank you so very very much thank you very much yogita radha mataji uh, i'll now request narshina chaitanya prabhuji on behalf of the nepal yatra i i I was seeing a big group of Nepali devotees behind you just now. So, requesting you to unmute yourself and turn the camera on, please. Okay. So, hi, Krishna, hi, Krishna Guru Maharaj. Maharaj. So, please, please kindly accept our flowers from Nepal. Uh, and one thing that really touched me about Guru Maharaj is uh, he has so much of love for Sri Prabhupada and for the Krishna that. In any age of any like any age group of devotees, when they comes in his contact, they feel so much of love. Like for me, for an example, I met Guru Maharaj when I was just like 17 or 18 years old. I was doing Bhakti Sastri that time in Mayapur. I saw him first time over there, and I was already in Mayapur for two three months, and I was uh, missing my home. I was missing my Mara. I, I'm sorry, I was missing my parents, and uh, and first time I saw Guru Maharaj, he was he took our lectures for nature of instruction i was really touched i feel that like something was there and after class i went to mara's and i had some questions so he gave me 10 minutes of his life that time and in that 10 minutes i expressed everything about the question and my attachments and my missing of my homes and everything and guru Maharaj in that 10 minutes he laughed and laughed and he gave me so much of love and so much of relationship and he said oh yeah i know i can understand i was also you know very young when i came to krishna consciousness he gave me so much of love i feel like so touched that time that like this is it you know then after that time since till date you know all the love and affection guru Maharaj is pouring to all the devotees and like me it's like whenever i feel low or some difficulties in my life i just close my eyes and just remember Guru Maharaj. And like, I feel there is somebody who really loves me, like without any condition, without, you know, merciless, like causelessly he is giving his mercy. And like, it's always give me that inspiration to move me and to continue my services over here that Guru Maharaj he is never tired. He's always active. He's always available for the devotees. Like he's very, you know, he's uncompromisingly, he's doing Mangala Artis, uh, like devotees yeah, yeah, yeah. are going chanting and all the services and whenever i feel low i just close my eyes and remember gurudev and that give me inspiration to move on to to carry on with my services over here and thank you so much gurudev for uh, becoming that representative of krishna to us and, and giving us that love and affection that is uh, that has kept us moving in this krishna consciousness thank you gurudev and we have a special cake gurudev by devotees as an offering to you and also at the same time we have devotees where you can kindly bless us so that we can uh, really uh, make little difference we can little assist in this glorious mission of Sri Prabhupada. so we have cake over here gurudev so please kindly accept it so made by devotees and all these devotees over here gurudev so please kindly bless us guru Maharaj. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you all the devotees. Thank you, Prabhupada, for organizing uh, this uh, wonderful festival. Hare Krishna Maharaj, please bless us. Thank you very much, uh, Yatra from Nepal and Rashina Chaitanya Prabhu. Um, we have a short video clip um, from the family of Sridam Prabhu. Sridam Prabhu is Guru Dev's first disciple. So it's a short two minute video. Um, I'm going to play it right now. Please accept our humble obeisances, all glories to Srila Prabhupada and your divine grace. Gurudev, today I would like to share a few words on behalf of our family and especially my parents, Sridam Prabhu, who recently left his body, and my mother, Tulsi Devi Dasi. They fondly remember the times in Taiwan when you introduced them to Krishna consciousness. You personally taught my father how to chant using the Japa beads. And I also remember how you taught us every song from the Vaishnava song book. Thank you so much for planting the seed of Krishna consciousness in my father's heart especially, 
and encouraging and guiding us all the way since then. Um, my sister and I especially thank you as well for always being there for us from the times we were in school, college, university, and just after that. Uh, thank you so much for your mercy, compassion, kindness, and patience, um, and the time um, that you've um, you know, spent in guiding us and making sure that uh, you, know, you give us very practical and very simple instructions. That's something that we're able to follow and uh, keep, that keeps us in Krishna consciousness. Thank you so much, Gurudev. Wishing you a very happy Vyasa Puja. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Thank you so much. I know you've had plenty of thank yous today, but one more from me. Uh, thank you so much for showering us with uh, unlimited mercy and compassion for planting the seed of bhakti in Sri Dham Prabhu's heart and Tulsi Mataji as well and, and their family. Uh, without them and without you, Maharaj, uh, my path in bhakti would not manifest. Um, I have so much to share, uh, but a little uh, snippet of Maharaja's mercy can be seen when uh, you used to very patiently explain to me every single question out of my list with reference to the Bhagavad Gita. Uh, that is something which I cherish and hold very dear to my heart. And um, what is our organization? that a disciple gets with his spiritual master. Thank you so much and wishing you a wonderful and very happy Vyasa Puja Day. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much, Shravanya Mataji and Prabhu. We will now move on to um, Gurudev's disciples. We will start with uh, Vaishnava, Vaishnavi Vani Devi Dasi from Switzerland. Mataji, can you please unmute yourself? Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glory to Prabhupada. Uh, I offer this uh, flower at your lotus feet. Uh, my name is Vaishnavi Vani. I'm living in Geneva, Switzerland. I met Guru Maharaj in Bangkok in 2011 in a house program. At that time, I don't know anything about ISKCON or Hare Krishna Mantra. One devotee suggested me that I go to Guru Maharaj and take the chanting beats from him. Uh, Guru Maharaj asked me if I'm a vegetarian and he asked me to uh, take a O to chant one round of Hare Krishna Mantra every day. So I came back home and I started chanting one round every day. And the simple chanting and following Guru Maharaj's instruction, it changed my life. One, uh, one moment association of a few devotee can change one's life. And Guru Maharaj has been very kind to me. And uh, he has been uh, giving an expert. Uh, he's been giving uh, very kindly in many in, uh, instructions and uh, guidance on many things. And I wanted to specially thank Guru Maharaj for the amazing online classes from Bhagavad Gita to Brihad Bhagavatam. It's so interesting that we just wait to hear his classes every week and he's been very kind to answer patiently all the questions addressed by the devotees. On this auspicious day, uh, I request Guru Maharaj to kindly bless me that I became very humble and I beg Guru Maharaj to accept me in his service eternally. And I'm wishing Guru Maharaj and praying for Guru Maharaj for a very long, healthy life. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much, uh, Vaishnavi Vani Devi Dasi Mataji. Uh, can I request Nand Kishore Prabhuji from Dubai to please unmute yourself and turn on your camera? Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, please accept my humble obeisances, Guru Maharaj. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. Uh, uh, we are very fortunate to uh, take part in this online auspicious Vyas Puja ceremony, Guru Maharaj. It's been by your mercy that uh, we have been able to get involved into Krishna consciousness. Uh, every time you visit here, Guru Maharaj, we experience and learn a lot of qualities, Guru Maharaj. Uh, your humility, whenever uh, Guru Maharaj, any other visiting devotees also visit Damodar Desh and they come to know that you visit here and that uh, you are our initiating spiritual master, the first thing every devotee says is, the very striking humility in you, Guru Maharaj, and your compassion has no bounds. Often, 
you travel guru maharaj four to five six programs even in a day and next day again you are ready to do the same programs with full zeal and enthusiasm even giving time to uh, uh, meet devotees personally to discuss issues they face in their spiritual life guru maharaj you make time for one and all uh, that is really startling and all devotees appreciate this uh, remarkable factor about your compassion guru maharaj uh, many uh, many a times guru maharaj uh, we see the unshakable uh service attitude towards shila prabhupad guru maharaj which inspires us that also some day we can uh be unshakable in our service to you guru maharaj and how you always uh, uh give us uh, uh, often very simple one line statements which are very guiding uh, force in our spiritual life uh, such as many times you tell us guru maharaj not to get too overwhelmed with material life and in this way you keep us encouraged to move on and despite whatever come may be the material situation to be always fixed in devotional service guru maharaj uh, by by spending uh, any amount of time with you guru maharaj we always feel spiritually fully surcharged and also see that there is not a single moment uh, not spent in krishna consciousness which you teach us guru maharaj and so on this day guru maharaj we would like to pray to lord narsimha dev for your good health and uh, long life in krishna consciousness we all need you uh, amongst us guru maharaj to be able to guide us and many more in this uh, divine journey of krishna consciousness with this prayers uh, we wish you a very uh, happy vyas puja mahotsav koti koti pranam again uh, guru maharaj and thank you very much for the organizers uh, his grace padma lok chaitan prabhu and many more who have made this his grace padma nayan prabhu and many more who have made this online vyas puja possible uh, thank you very much everybody hari krishna thank you very much nand kishor prabhu ji um, i'll now request leelamati devi dasi from thailand to please unmute yourself and the rest of you can you please mute your your mics please because uh, it's causing a little bit of a distortion thank you very much dilavati devi dasi are you there she has left prabhu just okay so we'll move on to ananta roop das and uh, raja surya prabhu ji from thailand hare krishna please say my humble obeisance all glory to prabhupad so i am speaking on behalf of the krabi devotee is con krabi southern thailand and we are very fortunate to have your association your guidance because whenever we see you or whenever we hear your lecture we get very inspired we get very inspired and many devotee they are truly love you so much they um, some of my friends they are not even my god brother they say that whenever uh whenever you come to to their place they feel like you are their father they said when i meet my own guru maharaj i'm not so happy but when i see nishinga maharaj i'm very happy and i feel like he is my real spiritual uh teacher so they could find like this so they all love you especially in thailand devotee of course all devotee love you and you have preached here for so many year and thailand is somehow there is getting more devotee more temple in phuket also recently the temple is just ready and of course in krabi we don't have temple yet but with a blessing and i hope um, in the future we can build a one temple for prabhupad and we hope that we can distribute a lot of shila prabhupad books in the near future in thailand and they will be a lot of thai devotees so please bless us i know you already blessed but please give a more blessing so that we can do something for thai people in thailand thank you very much hari krishna hari krishna prabhu ji thank you very much can we have dharmaraj prabhu from thailand please
Kindly unmute yourself and turn on your camera. Okay, we will move on. Um, from India, can we have Krishna Kirtana Das, please? Krishna Kirtana Prabhu, can you please turn on your camera? Hello? Hare Krishna. Yes. Am I audible, Prabhuji? Am I audible, Prabhuji? Yes, you are, Prabhuji. Can the rest please mute yourself? Prabhuji, please carry on. Please accept my humble obeisances to all Prabhuji Shushila Prabhupada. Guru Maharaj, first of all, I would like to thank you for accepting us as uh, your disciples may not, may not be that qualified. Gurudev, uh, your dedication to Srila Prabhupada and his mission is quite exceptional. You are following each and every instruction of Prabhupada in completeness. As mentioned in uh, Upanishad, Shwateshwar Upanishad, Yasa Deve Para Bhakti. This quality of your complete surrender is our also our hope to getting the ticket to Lord's abode. It is not if we do follow the path sincerely and persistently, yeah, as in, in Srimad Bhagatam, which also said that just by patiently, uh, if we follow the path of spiritual life, the wealth of spirituality is waiting for us. We need to be sincere on that path. So I beg your mercy to be on this path with the son faith in Krishna and Guru Parampara. Your humility, Guru Maharaj, is uh, to your spiritual master. Uh, dedication to him is so strong that it attracts each and every one. Your being a true disciple of Srila Prabhupada proficiently carry the responsibility of genuine disciple to take up the, the war against Maya or, and also equipping us with it. I hope one day we will qualify to imbibe this your quality, this is this of your quality. To my great fortune, I had a chance to assist with you on various occasions. And even with this small brain, I could understand your uh, sincere concerns towards each and every one who comes in contact of yours. Yep. So even when they themselves are unwilling or disinterested to achieve your kindness, but still you wholeheartedly give your mercy to each and everyone who comes in your association. This is truly the spirit of Lord Nishyananda and his mission. Gurudev, during this time of world crisis, we pray to Sri Sri Radha Madan Gopalji, the, the presiding duties in Nasik, to give you the best of the health and carry on with your amazing self-like preaching mission and bless the whole world with your abundant mercy. Please Thank you very much, Krishna Kirtana Prabhu. Can we have? Uh, we'll be go back. We'll be going back. We'll be flying back to Thailand. So can we have Dharmaraj Prabhu once again? Dharmaraj Prabhu, I'm going to spotlight you. Thank you, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj, Guru Dev. Please accept my humble obeisances. All glory to Shri Prabhupada, Guru Dev. Uh, sorry, uh, I was uh, cooking today. Uh, we are doing food for life for you know dedicated to guru maharaj this is why you know i was you know it's been a bit late this is why okay so uh, uh mine is uh you know like a little bit uh, different um year 2000 i went to london and uh, around oxford street and i made one brahmachari one but one brahmachari stopped me and he gave me a book and he showed me the temple and then uh, i went to the temple and I took London Ishwara, Jagannath Baladev Subhadra, and then a Parupat. You know, Parupat so attracted to me, and I took the picture and I bring back to Thailand. When I got back to Thailand, you know, I went to Photoshop, and then I made like 60 by 80, the big one, and I put it on uh, our demigod altar. Then uh, after that, after that, I start seeing because Parupat already in my house in Pattaya, like Sin City, Pattaya. So after that, uh, I start seeing um, uh, 
the uh, uh, Hare Krishna devotee. Then in uh, 2000, uh, then the year 2002, uh, I went to uh, uh, Malaysia. Then uh, when I went back from restaurant to the hotel in Jalal Ampang, you know, I met one again, Brahmachari, and he stopped me and he gave me book. And then I gave him my business card and then a business card and some donation. Then I told him that whenever you come to Thailand, please visit me. So that card, he passed it to my Guru Maharaj. All right. So then, uh, then Guru Maharaj, uh, you know, uh, uh, he tried to visit Pattaya so many times. And because of my business, you know, I always, uh, you know, go abroad. So, you know, we don't meet, you know, we could not meet each other. So then uh, finally, uh, 2005, Guru Maharaj came to my house and stayed a week in my house. Then, uh, you know, when he woke up around like three o'clock, you know, till uh, he do his sadhana, seven, eight. Prabhuji, ten, 10 more seconds, Prabhuji. Sorry. 10, ten more seconds. <laughs> too long. Oh, too long? Oh, yeah. And then, uh, you know, and uh, 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 and uh, doing, uh, doing his stay, you know, he showed so much mercy and uh, enlightened us. And in 2006, you know, we, uh, I became a vegetarian and uh, we took shelter from Guru Dev on 2007 in his con Phuket and we took initiation from Guru Dev 2008 and Guru Dev wished to was Ratyatra in Pattaya. But in 2010, Guru Dev costless mercy, we had a first, uh, first Ratyatra in Pattaya city, the same city, as I told you earlier. And now we have uh, it's called Pattaya in temple all, you know, and uh, we are very much grateful and very much, very fortunate to be your disciple Guru Maharaj. And we are so thankful for everything you have been doing for us and for Iskong Thailand, Guru Maharaj. Thank you very much, Guru Maharaj. Please bless us, Guru Maharaj. Thank you, Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Thank you very much, Dharmaraj Prabhuji. Um, I will now request Sundarangi Devi Dasi Mataji. And uh, for the rest of you, can you please limit it to a maximum of one minute and 30 seconds, please? Because, you know, we are already very, very late. Thank you very much. Sundarangini Mataji, can you please unmute yourself and turn on your camera? Okay, we will move on to Pran Priya Devi Dasi Mataji from India. Prabhu, uh, she has to go for a meeting. She's currently unaware. Yeah. Okay, so can we move on to Padmanabha Prabhuji from India? Prabhuji Sundarangi Mataji was trying to speak. I don't know if she can speak again. Okay, can you please? Yeah. Keshav, Prabhu, we can't hear. Sundarangi Mataji, we can't hear you, although you're speaking. Can you disconnect and connect again? Okay, so we will move on. Uh, we are now moving on to Taiwan. Can we have Nirguna Das Prabhuji and Tunga Vidya? Devi Dasi Mataji, please. Okay. Since we're not able to. Send with my. Hare Krishna Mataji. We're in Taiwan. 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 ซอฟีนานซันเซนเวคไพรอสเตตุมาราชอิสทุงกาวีเดียเดวิดาติเอ่อวิวังเอ่อวังเทอไฮส์อัพเอเซสทูยูแอนด์โอเกิลทูชู
Hare Krishna. Yes. Can we audible? Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. You can hear now, Sundarangi Mataji. Please speak. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Please accept my humble obeisance to your Lord and to the Guru. I will give it to Srila Prabhupada. As her, th as her mother tongue is uh, Thai, so I speak on her behalf, her glorification. Please accept my most humble obeisances at your lotus feet, Guru Maharaj. It is the duty of a disciple to glorify his spiritual master every day, every hour, every minute, every second, every moment of their life. On this very auspicious day of your appearance day, it is my small attempt to genuinely glorify and express my gratitude to you for my own purification. As one can't count the waves in the ocean, similarly, you are the ocean of good qualities which an ordinary person like me, who is struggling with own mind and senses, can't appreciate it due to my material conditioning. But I know Vaishnavas by nature are very merciful to a neophyte and by your mercy this small effort can be successful. I feel very fortunate and blessed to glorify my eternal spiritual father. Gurudev, you are full of compassion and mercy. Your concern for the spiritual well-being of each one of us is simply incomparable. Like that, when the temple opening of Phuket was there, we all, all are there to celebrate this occasion. We are very late for our return journey and we don't told to Maharaj that we are returning from there. So Maharaj, when he know, Maharaj specially came and asked from us, Oh, you are now returning. How you like the program? Is everything okay? You took prasadam. Everything small, small detail Maharaj asked from us. This shows Maharaj so much love and concern. And, and Guru Maharaj didn't waste even single penny of Prabhupada in his own service. When someone gave donation to travel by taxi or for anything, so Guru Maharaj didn't travel in taxi. <laughs> Maharaj preferred to travel in bus to just save the Lakshmi of Prabhupada. Guru Thanks Maharaj, you, Maharaj you. is his own example. Maharaj is so humble and caring. Maharaj has so many innumerable qualities, but there is limited time and everyone wants to glorify Guru Maharaj. So I stop here and I pray to Lord Narsimha Dev that he bestow long life and good health to Guru Maharaj so that Maharaj delivers so many conditioned souls like me. Thank you so much, Maharaj, for accepting me as your spiritual daughter. I am really grateful to you, Guru Maharaj. Please always bestow causeless mercy upon me. I am very fallen, Maharaj. Guru Maharaj ki jai, Srila Prabhupada ki jai. Thank you very much, Prabhuji and Mataji. Can we have Krishna Bhavana Mataji from Taiwan, please? Hare Krishna Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances, all glories to Srila Prabhupada. Uh, it's so inspiring to see so many of my God sisters and God brothers um, glorifying you today. I'm very touched. And uh, on this auspicious day of your appearance, I would like to say I'm so fortunate that uh, you give me your mercy so many years ago and your instructions. And also that I admire so much your simplicity, your purity, and your humility. In your lecture today, you said that you are uh, so concerned about the people who are suffering in this material world. And, uh, and I feel that concern too. So please give your blessings so that uh, along with Tunga Vidya, Nirguna, Shilpa, we can also uh, increase the preaching in Taiwan to reach out to the suffering souls. And hope also that you can come soon to Taiwan so we can serve you. And uh, I pray to Nursing Hadev to give you good health so you can continue to um, give your blessings to the whole world. And uh, thank you to all the organizers of the Zoom meeting. Thank you so much. Jashila Guru Maharaj, Jashila Prabhupada. Thank you very much, Shilpa Shyam Mata, uh, Krishna Bhavana Mataji. Can we have Shilpa Shyam Mataji from Taiwan next, please? Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances at your lotus feet. All glories to Shila Prabhupada. I'm so happy to be here to attend this Vyasa Puja ceremony. I'm so grateful to all the devotees 
who have organized it. And I'm so happy to see you, Guru Maharaj. We really miss you. And um, I'm so touched by hearing all all the all your disciples are speaking so so much about you, and it makes me feel that you're so personal with each and every one of us, and you're so busy. In spite of that, you have given so much love to me personally and to my family, and guided guided me personally in every little thing. And I feel so fortunate. You're just too kind, Guru Maharaj. I don't have words to say that. And really, really miss you. Really miss you a lot. I hope you can come soon. And yes, as always, I pray to Lord Nishinga Dev to protect you. And thank you so much for your mercy. I'm, I'm grateful to Krishna that he gave me my spiritual master as you. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Hari Bol, Shilpa Sham Devi Mataji, thank you very much. We will now move on to Malaysia, where we have Guru Dev's uh, senior disciple, Dwarka Desh Prabhuji. Dwarka Desh Prabhuji, can you please unmute yourself and turn on the camera? Kasturi Mataji, can you please uh, spotlight Prabhuji? Prabhuji, we can't hear you. Somehow your audio is not clear. Maybe your microphone is not working, Prabhuji, because you are unmuted. So, uh, can you try again? Yes. Yeah. No, we can't hear you. So, maybe while, while you switch on, uh, while you reset your system, we'll just move on to the next person, Prabhuji. Is it alright? Thank you very much, Prabhuji. So can we have Satya Vrata Prabhuji, please, from Malaysia? Satya Vrata Prabhu, can you please unmute yourself and turn on your camera? Okay, we will move on to Kamalakshi Devi Dasi. From Malaysia. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, dear Guru Maharaj. Please accept our humble obeisance unto Guru Maharaj Lotus Feet. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. Happy Appearance Day and Vyasa, Happy Vyasa Puja Guru Maharaj. We are very fortunate to have the opportunity to glorify Guru Maharaj on this auspicious day. We are very fortunate, firstly, due to Guru Maharaj entering in our life and heart. Guru Maharaj is very merciful, just like Lord Nityananda. But we, Guru Maharaj's most fallen children, have no qualification to serve Guru Maharaj. But still, Guru Maharaj is so merciful and giving us the blessing to serve Guru Maharaj with utmost love. We would like to express our deep thankful for, for the service opportunity that Guru Maharaj so kindly gave give us. And we are trying our best to serve Guru Maharaj with sincerely. We have not met a person who has been so kind okay, and has good. cared for us. Please save us from all the traps of Maya. We have no ability to ability and no words to express Guru Maharaj's glories with our sinful mind. But with Guru Maharaj's blessing as ocean of mercy, we can over, overcome all the problems in our life. We thank we thank you, Guru Maharaj, for showing such mercy towards us. For thousands of times, we thank, thank you, our dearest Guru Maharaj, with our deepest heart, and we want to offer a lot of love again and again, and we bow to Guru Maharaj's lotus feet with great respect, and we always pray to Lord Narsingha Dev to take care and bestow Guru good health and very long life for Guru Maharaj. Guru Maharaj, last but not least, only or not only, if we did any mistakes, please forgive us, Guru Maharaj. We love Guru Maharaj very much. Once again, happy, happy, happy Vyasa Puja, yeah. Guru Maharaj Ki Jai. Yeah. Guru Maharaj, we just offer one cake for Guru Maharaj that, that uh, Roshni and I do, my daughter do for Guru Maharaj. Thank you very much, Mataji. We will move on to Dwarka Desh Prabhuji. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Dwarka Desh Prabhu. Hare Krishna Prabhu, can you hear me? <laughs> Hare Krishna, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you, Prabhuji. Okay, Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. 
ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅತ್ವೇದ ಗದಾಗರ ಸುವಾಸದ ಗೌರವ ಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರಿ ಹರಿ ರಾಮ್ ಹರಿ ರಾಮ್ 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 ಹರಿ ಹರಿ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ದ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಒನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಮಿನಿಟ್ಸ್ ಐ ಗುಡ್ ರನ್ ಫಾಸ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದೀಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಐ ನೋ ಐ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಶೇರ್ ಮೈ ಸರ್ವಿಸಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಐಮ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಪಿನೈ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಅವರ್ ಹಂಬಲ್ ಆಫೀಸಸ್ ಗುರು ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಎಟ್ ಯು ಲೋಟ್ ಟು ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ಗುರು ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಜಿ ಸಿ ಎಸ್ ವಿಸ ಪೂಜ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾ ಆರ್ಡನರಿ ವಿ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಟಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಗುರು ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಆನ್ ವರ್ಚುಲಿ ಆನ್ ಆನ್ಲೈನ್ ಸೆಲೆಬ್ರೇಷನ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸರ್ಸ್ ಸೀತಾ ಸುಂಟಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಐ ವಿಶ್ ಟು ಲೈಕ್ ಟು ಕನ್ವೇ ಅವರ್ ಆರ್ಟ್ ಅಟ್ಮೋಸ್ ಆರ್ಟ್ ಪೆಟ್ ಗ್ರಾಟಿಟ್ಯೂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಎಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಎ ಡಿಸೈಪಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ಗೀವಿಂಗ್ ಅಸ್ ಗೈಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಶೆಲ್ಟರ್ ಅಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಟೈಮ್ ವಿ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಒನ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಗುರು ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಗುರು ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಶೆಲ್ಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗೈಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ಕೊರೋನಾ ವೈರಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಸ್ ಐಸೋಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಒನ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಮೂವ್ ಅಲೌಂಡ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಅಟ್ಯಾಚ್ ಟು ಇಸ್ಕಾನ್ ಪಿನೈಂಗ್ ವಿ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಗೋ ಟು ಬಟ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕೊರೋನಾ ವೈರಸ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಒನ್ ಪೂಜಾರಿ ಮಯಪುರ್ ದೇ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಮೋರ್ ಪೂಜಾರಿ ಇಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಮಯಪುರ್ ದ ಲೋಕಲ್ ಪೂಜಾರಿ ಇಸ್ ಮಣಿಭೂಷಣ್ ಪ್ರಭು ಸೊ ಐ ಟೇಕ್ ಅ ಪರ್ಮನೆಂಟ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಪೂಜಾರಿ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಆನ್ ಸಂಡೇ ಟು ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ಎಟ್ ಪಿನೈಂಗ್ ಟೆಂಪಲ್ ಗುರು ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಸೀತಾ ಸುಂಟಿ ಅನ್ ಐ ವೆರಿ ಫಾರ್ಚುನೇಟ್ ಇನ್ ಆಫ್ ಟು ಕಮ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಕಾಂಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಯುವರ್ ಓಲಿನೆಸ್ ಟು ರಿಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಅವರ್ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ಥ್ರೂ ಯು ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಗೈಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ರೊವೈಡಿಂಗ್ ಅಸ್ ದ ಆಪರ್ಚುನಿಟಿ ಗೋ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ಗಾಡ್ ಪೇಟ್ ಅದೋ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಇನಿಷಿಯಲ್ ಡಿಸೈಯರ್ ಬಟ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಎಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಈಸ್ ಟು ಸರ್ವ್ ಗುರು ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೈ ವೈಫ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಬರ್ತ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಬರ್ತ್ ಎಗೇನ್ ಗುರು ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ನರಸಿಂಹದೇವ್ ರಾಧಾ ಮಾಧವ ಜಗನ್ನಾಥ್ ಬಲದೇವ್ ಸುಭದ್ರ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪಂಚತತ್ವ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಯರ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಚಿಪ್ಸ್ ಮರ್ಸಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ಗುರು ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಡೂರಿಂಗ್ ಟ್ರಾವೆಲಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಎಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ಡೂರಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ಸಿಚುವೇಶನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ನಾವು ಹರಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಯು ಅಂಬಲ್ ಸರ್ವನ್ ದ್ವಾರಕ ಡಿ ದಾಸ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೀತಾ ಸುಂಡಿ ಡಿ ವಿದಾಸ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಪ್ರಭು ಜಿ ಕೆನ್ ಬಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಶ್ರೀ ದೇವಿ ಗೌರಾಂಗಿ ದೇವಿ ದಾಸಿ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಕೊಡಲಂಪೋ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ Hare Krishna Sri Radhe Maharaj please accept my humble obeisances all glories to Sila Prabhu Pat all glories to Sila Guru Maharaj this insignificant humble servant of Sri Radhe Guru Maharaj a very glorious auspicious happy 72nd Sri Radhe Sri Vyasa Puja 2021 I'm grateful and happy that devotees from all over the world are offering their heart felt glorification of prayers love gratitude and homages to sreela guru maharaj on the occasion of your auspicious vyasa puja 2021 i would like to offer my gratitude to sreela guru maharaj for your preaching of the transcendental names of the lord although sreela guru maharaj is not able to travel due to the ongoing covid-19 pandemic sreela guru maharaj is fully utilizing your time to conduct daily online classes which are so mesmerizing always invoking bhakti in our hearts i enjoy the question and answer sessions which are lively srila guru maharaj listens very intently and provides answers which are practical and beneficial even for beginners srila guru maharaj is doing a great spiritual service by preaching ex- extensively and intensively in his divine grace srila prabhu pat krishna consciousness movement to fallen souls like us during this covid-19 pandemic times the most fortunate thing that has come out of this pandemic is that we get much more opportunities to have srila guru maharaj vani and vaku association in amazing online classes this humble soul is sure that his divine grace srila prabhu pat is so beyond all of srila guru maharaj endeavors to preach krishna bhakti all over the world Srila Gu
Mataji, I'm, I'm sorry, but we do not have time. Sorry, uh, we okay. really have to cut. Yeah, thank you very much, Mataji. Significant, humble servant, Sri Devi Gaurangi Devi Dasi. Okay, we have two more speakers, uh, Guru Maharaj. Um, uh, one from Malaysia and all of us from Singapore are coming together to speak. So, can we have uh, Divya Drishti Devi Dasi to 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 uh, to present her homage, please? Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, thank you to the organizers for this opportunity. Please accept my humble obeisances at your lotus feet, Guru Maharaj. Our God is to sit up Prabhupada. Guru Maharaj, my family and I are very fortunate to have had your association for almost 20 years now. Thank you for all the opportunities to serve you, to hear the transcendental wow. topics from you, and to meet the wonderful God family from around the world. Serving you, Guru Maharaj, has always brought me a lot of joy. However, I pray and beg that by your mercy one day I can imbibe your mood in serving Srila Prabhupada. The verse, Yasha Prashada Bhagavad Prashado Yasha Prashada Nagatri Utopi from the song of Vishwana Chakravarti Takura constantly reminds me of the importance of obtaining your mercy, Guru Maharaj. I pledge to renew my efforts to sincerely chant the holy names and study regularly Srila Prabhupada's transcendental books. I fall at your lotus feet and pray at your lotus feet to please forgive me for all my offenses and I pray that Lord Sinashima protects you always. Thank you for showering me with your mercy of love for Krishna and his dear devotees. I'm eternally indebted to you, Guru Maharaj. We need you, Guru Maharaj. Thank you to the organizers and your spiritual daughter and servant. Divya Dishri Devi Das. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much, Mataji. Um, so this is the last offering, uh, Guru Maharaj. We are you know, really mindful that uh, we have taken too much of your time, Guru Maharaj. So this is the, the group from Singapore. Uh, all of us would like to you know, due to the shortage of time, we are not able to give you individual or present our individual homages. So all of us are coming as a group. Right? Thank you very much, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna. 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 Thank you very much, Guru Maharaj. Thank you very much. Yeah. And uh, uh, thank you to all the devotees who have assisted with this uh, Vyasa Puja. Uh, preparations and um, over to you, Padmanayan Prabhuji. We can't hear you, Padmanayan Prabhu. You know, see Mayapur and don't know what's going on, Prabhu. 
struggling hard they're putting their life and soul to help us become krishna conscious so now let us take this opportunity to go to the next part of the program where we on behalf of the devotees who have assembled here and the devotees online we will make our humble offering to maharaj and uh, at this point in time also we'd like to Recognize our dear devotees from Malaysia, this is Marichi Prabhu, and as you know, the Master Prabhu, who is the founder of Mayapur Institute in Mayapur. And when Prabhu started this program, he was always in touch with Maharaj now also. So, in supporting my Apple Institute. So, probably. so now, let us all try to offer our offering to Maharaj by offering the Arati as part of the rule of the GVC body that once in a year we can offer our puja to our Maharaj. Okay, so please you can be seated wherever you are. And our request is Devadharma Devadharma Prabhu, Deva Dharma Prabhu to kindly can leave the Kirtan, Siguru Charna Padma. And we will continue. Hare Krishna.
cannot hear anything. Yes, Mataji, I'm also not able to hear anything. Padman Lotion Prabhu, Kasturi Mataji, no audio. Uh, Mataji, Mataji, we are trying to contact uh, Mayapur team. We can't uh, uh, get a response. Oh,
Namaste Krishna Thank you. 